Types of circuits. Yeah. Oh, Smurf, why are you sitting in the dark? I see. I wonder why your lights are less bright when they're all on at the same time. Hmm, how can we make them brighter? Maybe it has to do with different kinds of circuits that make the lights brighter. A circuit is a path that electricity can flow around. I know a friendly monster who can help show us how different circuits work. Let's go, Smurf. Let's start by making the star of our show, Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> oh, yes, Morph, of course, you're the star as well. <laughs> First, let's make some water for our co-star, Nessie. And then we'll add Nessie's head and tail so it looks like she's swimming. <laughs> oh, Nessie does look a bit sad. That's because no one has ever discovered her, so she's very lonely. Great idea! Let's give Nessie a light beacon so she can make some new friends. What's the first thing we'll need to make a circuit for the light? That's right, Smorf! We need power. Let's use our battery pack, which is where the electricity is stored. Next, we'll need a light. Hmm, the light is on, but it doesn't seem to be enough for friends to find Nessie. What could we try? Great idea, Smurf. Let's try adding more lights. For this type of circuit, we'll need Nessie to come out of the water a little bit. Then add another light. Do you see how all the lights are in a straight line? This is called a series circuit. <gasps> hmm. Even though we've added another light, it isn't as bright as before. Huh? Let's take a look at how a series circuit works. It takes a lot of energy for electricity to go through one light. But when electricity goes through two lights in a straight line, it means it gives less energy to each one. That's why they're less bright. <gasps> Hmm, how could we arrange the lights in a different way to see if that helps? Good thinking, Smurf. Let's try putting the lights side by side instead of in a straight line. <laughs> this time we need Nessie to go back under the water for a bit. Now let's put the two lights back, but over the same gap. Now both lights are just as bright as before. See how the lights are side by side? This is called a parallel circuit. Now that there are two lights next to each other, we have two equal paths for the electricity to pass through at the same time. So each light gets more energy. That's why they're brighter. Oh, Abby. Let's put lots of lights in our circuit, but make sure they are in parallel this time. I think this might be enough light for Nessie to be discovered and make some friends. We did it! Well done, Smurf! Nessie is making lots of new friends, and we learned about the different types of circuits. A series circuit has all the lights in a straight line, with one path for the electricity to flow through. And a parallel circuit has the lights side by side, so the electricity has two equal paths to go through. Bye, Nessie! Bye-bye! Mm. That's right, Smorph. We now know that if we put all our lights in a line, then they have to share the energy, so there isn't enough for each of them to shine brightly. But if we rearrange our circuit so that the lights are side by side, then they can light up properly because all the energy can flow through each one. Well, that is much better, Smorf. Remember, Smorf, the more you ask, the more you learn. I can't wait to explore more things with you soon.
Bye for now.